So um, now what we're going to do is uh, do an exercise called the chocolate chip cookie problem to give you an idea of how you can run into a situation here at the airline and there are a lot of different entities that have different perspectives on the same exact problem. On the same exact problem. And they're all thinking about different needs that they have, even if the situation everyone's looking at is completely identical. Anyway, I thought I would emphasize this is, has not happened in this fictional piece. <laughs> but it could happen. <laughs> and if it happened, um, it would impact many, many departments, um, which you might not have line of sight to. Uh, because in your own department, if this happened, you might be thinking, oh, well, then I have to write the report. <coughs> in your department, you might be thinking, oh, I might um, have to make sure to fill out a workman's comp information or oh um, I'm in commissary so we might have to you know, now look at the specific cookie or cookies but depending upon your department and how siloed your department is um, you will think of a particular and specific perspective on this chocolate chip cookie problem today we are going to expand your horizons so today, we are going to have each of your tables uh, become two departments. Um, so here you are, um, two departments. Um, here's what we're gonna ask you to do. And these instructions look complex, but they're not. We'll just take it one step at a time. And they're in your journal, so you can refer back to them. Yes, yes. So please read through, if you have not already, the chocolate chip cookie problem. We're going to solve this problem using the criteria set forth in our quality execution quadrant. So in the quality execution quadrant, we're going to use those areas and aspects to solve this chocolate chip cookie problem. We're going to solve the problem in three phases. Phase one, each table is a set of departments. Um, and you have three tasks. One, produce a list of specific department concerns you have because you are the departments that you are. So the first task is to create a list of concerns you have as the two departments that you are. Two, each table needs to choose one um, recommended solution to the problem that you have, and three, each table needs to choose a representative to read the concerns and the one solution that you have. Some of your concerns, doesn't matter which department you start with. We started with aircraft cleaning, so um, our concerns were um, actually cleaning up the spill of coffee, the safety of cleaning it up, if we broke the glass, <coughs> and the quality of getting it cleaned up um, if there's a past turn. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It would take time to clean and something like that in case there's a fast turn. Yeah, that would be rough. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then um, accounting and finance uh, costs if uh, they were to have to change the product of a cookie or the wrapper or additional cleaning costs, costs of a work comp claim coming through. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, make a work comp claim or it could be high sure. for burns or something like that. Yeah. And HR talent and legal, what are your concerns? Your list of concerns? Um, do you remember that? Nope. <laughs> um, lawsuit, uh, workman's comp issues, um, if there's any food handling issues as far as like the FDA is concerned. I don't know, we read something about them touching the cookie. Touching the cookie, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and then training records. Sure, you know, from a legal standpoint, was the employee properly trained? Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. Those would definitely be HR legal issues. And for um, you, your safety and SOC, right? Well, SOC, I think, would the main current concern would be how bad of an injury the passenger or the flight attendant had if they had to divert or delay. That would be their main concern as, as much as I know. I mean, I deal with the SOC every day, but 
I'm not sure what they all do. But I know when there's delays and diversions, I'm involved. <laughs> um, and as far as safety, um, to review, again, the packaging or the coffee pot, what's caused the accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, all those things. And how about in-flight and customer care? Uh, for in-flight, some of the concerns we looked at, um, how the cookies are wrapped, if there's some way that we could wrap them differently so there's less chance of getting your hands dirty. Um, the completion of the duty for the flight attendant, are they able to continue with their required tasks of being a flight attendant? Mm -hmm. If you're on a turn, did we just lose a flight attendant and we're in Orlando and now we can't get the airplane back because we lost a flight attendant potentially? Uh, reporting to the NTSB of a crew member that's no longer able to possibly complete their uh, required duty. Uh, solution, we uh, thought of um, make sure to, when you're handling the equipment, dry your hands so you don't drop something. So that's what we can Okay, with. okay, so, so they brought us to kind of the next area, which is solution. What I'd like for you to do Sorry. is come up with, that's okay, is come up with uh, solutions. When you come up with solutions at your table, please choose one person at your table who reads out uh, the solution because they will uh, become, in essence, like a boss, a supervisor or a boss. So choose a boss at your table to read out your solutions. Okay, so think. So let's start in the back right. Grace, you're the boss. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> What other solutions you came up to what, remind everybody what your two departments are? So we have are. SOC and safety and for safety, I'll go with safety because SOC I wouldn't know what to do <laughs> um, in providing a solution. But for safety, we thought, uh, again, just reviewing the cookie packaging um, and uh, request that new packaging have a perforated So new line. packaging. Yes. Okay. Oh, and then for the coffee pot, ask they have like this little grippy thing, so it's not. <laughs> so what? Why do I want to run up your grippy? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> yeah. 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 This, yeah. 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 Okay. On the handle. Okay. So, um, so grip on uh, the coffee pot handle. Okay. Good. Let's go this way. Um, Jeff. 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 The work in progress. Uh, follow through with the employee on, their, on the injury and conduct an investigation to make sure that adequate training had been provided. So training, training. what I heard you say. Yep, training was in there. <laughs> Other solutions? Because you have two departments on your table. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's as far as we got. It says training. So you're going to go with training and go training. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, aircraft yes. cleaning, we're going to go with um, a process of cleaning coffee spills. So, a, so a, pro a written process. Oh, so a written process of procedure. Mm -hmm. And accounting and finance, uh, perhaps providing a budget for unanticipated costs or damages. Say that part again. Providing a budget or creating a budget. Creating a budget. Uh, for unanticipated costs or damages. Okay. So for those new grips on the coffee pot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks. On the new coffee pot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? So the bosses, come on, meet in the center. Oh, the last table. We, we oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, you guys. That's okay. Right. Um, from the in-flight side, it from what we have, it looks like he didn't properly dry his hands. So, kind of a highlight education campaign about the risks of not properly drying your hands. So more training. Training yeah, and right. education. Yep. Training on standard operating procedures. Yep. Okay. And then from a customer care, we understood that there were some passenger concerns. So if we have passengers reach out to us, we maybe offer them X amount of U fly miles to credit their account. Points. 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 I'm sorry. Points. Oh, 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 oh points. Points. Right. points. I'm still the new guy. I'm still so, the new guy. You're, you're set. so how do I say that? What's the solution for the customer? So to anybody that reaches out to us, we'll offer them 5,000 U fly points. Wow. 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 And if somebody, if a passenger was burned, we okay. offer that individual a free round of ticket. Whoa. Wow. Wow. That's really nice. 
should come and stand in the center of the room and then decide what's the best solution for the entire organization. So you are all since no. five, but we're four because we're a small group. So all of the bosses come together and they have to decide on an ideal enterprise solution for the whole company. For the whole company, not just for the department. Okay? And then Michelle. 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 <laughs> Congratulations. So go ahead, Michelle. Why don't you go ahead and tell us what the bosses decided for the organization for the solution? Um, we are going to purchase scripts for coffee pot handles. Oh. This one. Okay. There you go. Okay. So how are you going? So let's go around quickly to each table. How are you going to communicate this to your group? What means? What vehicles? Are you going to tell them individually as a team? Are you going to send an email? How are you going to get buy-in? How are you going to get buy-in from your people? Because some people might be excited about this. Some people might say, oh, that's dumb. So how are you going to communicate it? Because now this is going to come down from the organization. You're staring at each other. That's a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I think it's going to depend on which group it is. In finance and accounting, there's probably somebody responsible for actually paying for this. Okay. So that person you may need to have an individual conversation there you with go. the rest of the team and email might be sufficient. Okay, so it's going to depend. Yeah. How about you guys? How are you going to communicate it down to people? Down and out. Um uh, type of a bulletin on SYI. Ah, there you go. Okay, great. How about you guys? How are you gonna communicate it? We said the SYI put it um but uh and update any reference sheets if there's a reference sheet regarding it, we would update that. We also would put it on SYI. Okay, great. Ryan and Nate? I kind of partnered with them because Ryan was. Oh, sure. Yes. So that's your, that's your answer? You're going with them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, ironically, the very first um, group that went through this training was the ELT, and Ellen from, right? from the commissary was there and she said, wait, wait, we have a solution also. And this is the real life solution to the cookie problem. So she had no idea we were going to do this exercise, but so she had the solution and I guess it's being implemented yeah. now already. Yeah. There are new, new That's right, new coffee aircraft. So there you go. We did this exercise and you were able to think um, maybe for the first time from a couple different departments perspectives. Maybe none of you before have thought, oh my gosh, yes, this costs something. Uh, and we are finance and accounting and we actually have to pay people for changes that occur or new equipment that occurs. Um, or some of you were thinking, uh, wait a minute, what are the legal aspects when an accident happens? Um, others of you were from customer care thinking from you know the customer perspective um, we had to find a solution because customers would be unhappy if we didn't have those warm chocolate chip cookies for example so all of you um, now if you think of uh, your own team or your own department what is your chocolate chip cookie problem what is something that's happening in your department that you wish you could cure, change, or fix? Is there a problem that, quote unquote, keeps you up at night on your team um, or within your department? What is that? What is that exactly? What is your chocolate chip cooking, cookie problem? What expectations do you have for it being solved? Have you outlined those expectations clearly? What's one thing, even if it's very tiny, one thing you're going to do uh, differently as a result of today to attempt to solve your chocolate chip cookie problem? 